welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to introduce you to the next project. We're going to call it Project Unicorn. Well, because it is a 1999 Subaru Impreza 2.5 RS. It's not a WRX, it's not an STI, it's not a GC8, and it is not a 22B. What it is, is a USDM 2.5 liter non-turbo engine. This is what we got in the United States before the WRXs came out, before the STIs. It is the basis for a lot of those other cars that I mentioned, the 22B, the WRX, the STI, the GC8. Um, that's only overseas in Japan. This is, I think, a GM6 is the chassis code. Everybody likes to call them GC8 because that's what we know them by. So if I say GC, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. 88,000 miles on this car, clean title, tons of service records, slightly modified, not very much, minimal, almost zero rust. All these cars have rust. I don't care what they say. If people say no rust, no rust, every single Impreza I've seen these years have rust somewhere. It might be surface rust, it might be a little crease here and there, or a window trim, corner, whatever. This is almost rust free, clean title car, super low mileage. Let me show you around. Why did I get another one of these? Well, because I just can't help myself. I wanted a white coupe that was not flared. I know this, the other one outside is flared. It wasn't local. I had to ship this thing from Sacramento. The car is here, it showed up um, actually on New Year's Eve. There is a few things on the car which I'm gonna have to address and we're gonna inspect it today as well. Let's start with the exterior. Um, first of all, we have, the, we have brand new four pot in the front, two pot in the rear. WRX brake calipers, new pads and rotors. I believe they're red stuff, EBCs with some slotted power stop, power slot rotors. Uh, I got receipts from the factory. The guy went and had them put on all four corners with stainless steel brake lines. There is a little bit of a gap here, if you can see in the hood. I don't know if it's, I think the hood might be tweaked a little bit. Here you see the little crease in the front. It looks like it kind of bumped into somebody and I believe it creased the hood because this fender line is a little off and it kind of bows up even though the hood is shut. You can see how it kind of bows. Um, the front fenders don't match the paint. It's really hard to see in the daylight but I think you can see right there. Fender on the left is a little more vanilla and the rest of the car is more of a pure white. So for whatever reason, I don't know if these fenders were replaced or if they were just repainted. It's kind of strange. Doesn't match the bumper either or the hood. So both sides fenders are a little off on the paint and they kind of have the corners here. Do you see this are kind of kind of pushed in a little bit like they don't really line up. I don't know. Maybe there was no accidents on any of the Carfax reports, but what I think happened is See, there's two dings on the hood, one here, one over there, and the tabs on the headlights that this grill goes into are broken, which is disappointing because these are OEM, crystal clear Subaru headlights. You can't get these anymore. You can get one side brand new, but not the other. So I'm searching for those, um, but there's no way for this grill to mount when these tabs are broken. It just kind of sits in the bottom tab on the bumper. So. That's not a cool, that's not a cool look. I bet it looks pretty awesome going down the highway. This fog light I saw has a crack. These are still available from Subaru. Um, corner, look, it's are good. The other corner light on the other side is one of the tabs is broken, so it kind of wobbles around. It has a knockoff STI front lip on it. Um, we got these super long extended Lug nuts, which I'm not a fan of. I mean, when you see a car coming down the road and you see the like spider looking things sticking out like Ben-Hur and chariots of fire with the spikes, I I don't like that. So stock wheels, I mean, I, I, stock lugs as well. I mean, if you, I can see if you're extended like on the 
black Subaru I have, maybe it works, but I don't know why people put extended lug nuts on these cars when they're stock. Uh, we got some mud flaps in the front, but not in the rear. Just, I don't know if they're, eh, they look like rally armor. Some dings you can see here. I mean, it's not a perfect car. Uh, looks like it's missing a clip here. So this, uh, that's locking, which is not factory, but it's good to have. That just kind of flops around. Paint on this car is, as you can see, all amazing. It's a 1999, so what is that, 23 years old? There's still clear coat on this car. And there is some things here and there. This t upper trim molding is kind of fried from the sun and it just kind of gets crusty. Um, the bottom isn't too bad. These wipers have some surface rust. Uh, the moldings seem to be in pretty good shape. They're not broken or anything. They're just kind of flaking the paint. This one, you can see the seal here is kind of tucked in behind it. I know you can get those reproductions. The seals reproduce and you can't get them from separate from factory. Uh, let's see, it's kind of peeling here. Anyway, I mean the paint, it needs to be full paint correction, which we're gonna do as well coming up, which we're gonna decontaminate the paint. We're gonna compound the paint, peppered with rail dust, industrial fallout. I mean, this thing, clay bar, will do it wonders because it is just covered. I don't know if it's ever been done. White cars are a little more um, prone to that, but I'm just happy to have clear coat still on this car. The wing is a little faded, just a little bit. I think it'll buff out really well if I'm careful and don't go through the clear coat. Compared to the trunk, it's just a little faded. You can see it's kind of got that fog to it. Surface rust. This car does have some surface rust as we'll see uh, on, see, like around here, there's some bubbles. But when I, if I open it, it's not on the car. So the body is fine. I, there's a teeny tiny little bubble right here, but the whole rail all the way around the sunroof is really solid. And I already scored a replacement sunroof from somebody. Same color, I don't know if it's gonna match, but this is like, this one's perfect. The seal is a little old, but it needs to be cleaned up. Little dings and scratches here and there, nothing crazy. Probably have a paintless dent person come out. Look at that, period correct. Strumung, strumung, I don't know. Dual exhaust, which these cars were infamous for, for people replacing, replacing the stock ones. Um, it also has, as far as performance mods on the engine, has intake, header, and exhaust, which I'll show you. Not super pumped about it. I'd rather have it completely stock. Look at these, look at these fenders. Look at that quarter panel. I mean, do you even see? I mean, there might be a teeny tiny little bubble underneath or, but that, that is super solid. Another reason I wanted this car. It has stock door panels. Most important, stock dash. I do not like the GD dash swap in my black RS or the steering wheel. I mean this, I have actually purchased a steering wheel and dash to hopefully one day be able to swap back in to the black one. But this car, I mean, it has the compass pack there. Doesn't really work actually. I pulled this out open. There's a bunch of wires for gauges here, but no harness for that. So I'm gonna have to hunt that down. Um, it's got a few little things. It's got the, it's got a different shift knob on it. I forget which one that is. It's like that plastic five speed STI one. Um, head unit's been replaced. I do not like this center console is from a GD that it's hard to tell, but it's just been hacked like with a hacksaw and stuffed in here. So I'm gonna be looking for a new center console, GC specific. I love those door cards. I mean, you can see the red ones on my other car that I just do not like. Headliner is great. Came with some seats. You may have spotted earlier. 
Corbo, Cor, Cor, Corbo, Corbal, I don't know. Front seats, they're nice. They're leather. They have a, a quite a strong smell to them. I think they're leather, I don't know. And I would rather have had the stock RS seats, which I'm also looking for. If anybody has a line on some minty ones in good shape, I'd love to see them. And it came with some NRG seat belts, which I don't really like these on street cars, especially with no cage. It does have a harness bar in the back with the seat belts, but it's just a pain. All the seat belts have been removed, but I still think they're in the uh, and they're in the trunk. So I'd love to put all that back. Black RS floor mats. I think those are reproduction. I think the original ones, this 2.5 RS is supposed to be up there like on my black one. It's got the gray floor mats and they're OEM. I think they were brand new when I bought the car. It does have black carpet in here, which is in, seems to be in really good shape. Side skirts, I'll have to put the new seals in here. It looks like it's missing some seals. This one is cracked, which I blame the harnesses because what happens is you flip off the harness it hangs over the seat and then people slam them in the doors so that's what it looks like happened this is not my cup of tea subaru looks like 3d printed but we're gonna get the antenna put back in here i had to pay a little bit more than i wanted to because this guy got like dozens and dozens of offer the first hour he had it. So I had to jump on it. I FaceTimed him like 10 o'clock at night. He was in the military. He had to get up the next morning at like 4. He's a great guy. Huge shout out to him. He actually let me um, wire the money to him and he kept it in his garage for a couple weeks until I could arrange the pickup. And I actually had to pay $1,000 more than I want than we agreed on because the next day he said hey man I removed the listing but the residual people that already had my contact information kept sending me higher and higher bids so I got a bid $1,500 higher than your bid even though I already left him a deposit the night before just give me a thousand dollars more and it's yours so I said figured for a thousand dollars I couldn't let this one go all right, let's take a look. We have an ultra high performance engine cold air intake system that goes into the fender. I'd have to look and see the shape of that filter. Um, fender liners were all intact, so hopefully it should be pretty good. Um, don't know how I feel about that and hi potentially hydrolocking the car. I know it's controversial, whatever. Um, lots of more surface rust. You have the power steering reservoir, all the clamps, almost every little nut and bolt has been, looks like oxidized with just some surface rust. Uh, it looks fairly clean. Oh, look at this. Looks like somebody was a race car driver. Look at all those wires. We have an exhaust gas temperature bung, it looks like. Um, Got all kinds of fun stuff. Oh look, looks like they had a fuel pressure gauge. They just cut right into this fuel line here. So that's, I'm surprised not leaking. Oh, looks like maybe water temp sensor as well. Tapped into the heater hose there. Um, lots of crusty little hoses. You see that one there? It looks like snake skin falling apart. Um, I mean, the car only has 88,000 miles on it, so I doubt Many of these hoses have ever been changed. More hose clamps and surface rust. Looks like they just went through and touched everything up. I mean, you can see there's little bits of rust. It's all surface rust here, you know, just from sitting outside. And then, like, they'll they touched up all these parts here. You can see in the light. But then they didn't bother to do back here. I guess they figured they didn't see it. Out of sight, out of mind. I mean, look, that's coming right back through. Just throwing touch-up paint on rust isn't really going to do anything. Um, the rest looks pretty good. I mean, you know, a lot of these brackets and stuff can either be replaced or refurbished. 
these two bumper bolts here, these always corrode out on almost all the cars. And they don't corrode out, they just, they just get like a little flash, you know, rust on them. Um, I've never seen them body colored, so they went nuts on the touch-up paint as well. There, um, did have a brand new radiator and condenser put in it, which is great. No battery tie down. Um, looks like the tray is still there, but there's no, this needs to be, have, you know, big long J bolts and a top bracket to hold this down. I mean, look, not safe. Wow, look at that. It's gotta be an original fuel filter. I have never seen a fuel filter. Look at that thing. I mean, we're talking like $25 to a brand new OEM Subaru filter. I mean, why do that when you can just, you know, get all that patina on this one built up over the years? Hood pad seems to be in better shape than that one. That one is just completely corroded and falling apart. This one just has a little corner kind of falling apart. I think you can still get these from the factory for like 60 bucks or so. Underside isn't too bad. Missing some trays here for both vents. There should be block off trays there and a tray here. I mean, with out having a turbo and an intercooler under it, like in Japan, there's really no need to have a huge gaping hole in your hood. Just gonna let in a bunch of rainwater and it's probably what some of this corrosion came from. NGK or something, yep. Spark plug wires, Super Racer Boy Blue. I don't think the engine has ever been out of this car. I looked at like the motor mounts and stuff, they all look original. Um, not a whole lot of marring on the nuts and bolts going to them, so I don't think that was the case. But I mean, with intake header and exhaust on this car, they probably were trying to get the most out of it back in the day when that's all you did to these cars. Um, you know, for that extra 13 horsepower at the crank. Uh, looks like it's missing. There should be a bracket here holding all this stuff. Have you ever seen a yellow rotor? I mean, this thing is like gold. Look at that. Wow. Well, I just washed it and apparently there's quite a bit of contaminants in that. Anyways little surprise we have Bilstein PSS 9 coilovers um, in pretty good shape I know a lot of guys JDM guys probably don't run these um, I've been in quite a few Porsches with these and they love them I mean they feel great everything there's that crusty sway bar with the parent mount now everything in here Let's see if I can get up and show the strut mount. I mean, I'd have to grind and blast this stuff away, but I don't see any corrosion or rust other than all this just dirt and debris that's just built up over the years. And it's gonna be a good opportunity to detail and basically just brush away all the crust from so many years. I mean, it is just literally, caked on like look there's a texture to it it looks like that's how the paint is supposed to be but i think either somebody added texture like undercoating to this or it's just the way the dirt has been hitting this for years and years and years another look at the links behind fenders were sadly rolled not very well it's hard to tell because it's picking up the inside but you can see paint cracked did not do a very great job of rolling the fenders, which most people don't do. Um, I mean, the lip is rolled pretty good, but paint's cracked, surface rust has started, and I mean, it's mild, you know, it's not even a texture to it. Like, I could probably rub it away. It's mainly just dirt. But what I wanted to tell you, so this is the inner back side of the fender. So this is where these cars will rot out time and time again. This is the back bumper, there's the clip, and then this is the actual pinch weld. So this up here, you can see in this car, from what I can tell, is pretty stout. If you don't have rust here yet, this is right where it's gonna start. And I mean, this is just, this is just totally caked on years and years. Look at that, just falling out of dirt and nasty. I mean, you could just dig my nail in. So you have to watch this area really good. A lot of the cars here, this is all gone. I mean, this is completely see-through, rusted, rotted out, or it's been replaced. 
This pinch weld all down here is usually corroded. It's actually more corroded on the black one that I have um, than this white car. But, I mean, if I was in a state where there was salt on the road, this would be just destroyed just from the, the salt and the moist dirt and all that sitting in there. It would have been bad. Front wheel is off. Hey, yep, same coilover suspension, Bill Stein. PSS 9. Uh, I do like the dual rate spring on these coilovers. Got the lower helper sp helper spring and the upper one. There is uh, some fender liner pieces missing. I think this car was slammed on the ground at some point of its life because uh, its fender rear fenders have been rolled. There's a lot of missing clips in the front and there is a rub mark right there. Any others? I think it's about it. So I think it was probably dropped pretty low at some point in its life. Yeah, that definitely looks like this thing was sitting on its booty at one point in its life, just dragging because it's like part of this fender liner is just completely gone. You can see the harness underneath it. That's okay. I think they're still available from Subaru. It's like Perrin sway bar and links. I don't know. Is that a Perrin? Sway bar. It does have, look at that, STI aluminum control arms. Just a little dirty, sludgy. That can be cleaned up. Uh, a lot of the bushings have been replaced with, I think, white line stuff. So it is relatively stock, other than, well, the coilovers, the brakes, and some suspension stuff. This is all pretty. I don't know, it looks a little. And it's just dirty, it might need to be refreshed. Brakes are good. These things are pretty dusty. Like I said, I think they're the EBC red stuff. Oh, and that's under the front suspension. Not too bad. And underneath, uh, terrible. It's got like this greasy oilness to it. I think the person probably coated it with something. I mean, look, it's, Everywhere the, the sway bar links are covered in it. This sway bar, I think it's a Perrin. Yeah, look, Perrin sway bar is completely just peeling. <laughs> the paint is, is completely shot. Brake lines look good. Cross member looks fine. Trunk pan looks good, it's clean. Tow hooks aren't super crusty. There's just little things. I think the rear bumper support is probably pretty crusty without getting in there and opening it up. It's hard to tell. Axles don't look too bad. I wish I had a lift. I could really get under here and inspect it. But the sway bar, sway bar bushings, look, lateral links and control arms probably all need to be refreshed. Probably just original, old. This the car looks not too bad. We'll try to jack up the front and look at the pinch welds. They're probably a little smushed because everybody that has these cars has smushed pinch welds because years of repetitive jacking up on them kind of pinches them a little bit. Treasures in the trunk. Oh, of course. Uh, missing the carpet on the back. The sides are there, that's good. And it came with a bunch of random stuff. Not a bunch, but speaker grills, awesome. Those ones are missing. Seat belts, amazing. All the stock seat belts, which I'm super happy to see. Don't have to track all those down because it has the racing harnesses in it. Oh boy, lots of nuts and bolts. Oh, somebody was planning some uh, AC Delco premium radiator hose replacement. Oh, there's the culprit. Dr. Color Chip, you, my friend, are everywhere. I hope that's the, I don't know if that's the right color. I guess I'll have to look and see. I'm assuming so, since it's everywhere. 
Uh, some alignment bolts, looks like brake pads. Oh, a water outlet. Um, looks like an ECU. I, I don't know, it's kind of worrisome. I don't know if it was changed or chipped at one point or there was thoughts of that. I don't know. Looks like some front bumper air inlets. I think those are in the lower part. Mass airflow, couple like eccentric washers. Oh, there's more of those grommets for the front grill. We don't have anywhere for them to clip into. Some hardware. Hmm, some extended lug nuts or bolt studs. Ah, I don't know, not enough to do the whole car. They don't look like ARP. They just look like some random brand. Oh, these feel like really thin wheel spacers. Probably like five millimeter spacers. And some pads. Wonder what caliper doesn't have pads in it. We gonna find out. Gates thermostat. That won't be going in the car. Trunk's not so bad. Looks like they've removed the sound deadening material at some point of its life. Oh, somebody was going for the weight savings technique. Yeah, it looks like all of this has been removed. There's none of the tar stuff anywhere yeah it looks like it's all been removed this is kind of a different material but you can see where the other stuff was on top of it and there's a big sheet that goes back there um, and it looks like the backer board is still intact those almost always get destroyed or removed or thrown out this is interesting i do not think this is factory i don't know if they were trying to f hide some surface rust Look, you can see where they just like piled it on. And what is that? Like a like a seam sealer that they put over it? I don't know. Maybe I don't think it was in a collision because this is all still factory seam sealer all the way up. Then there's like black seam sealer here or just, I don't know, maybe it's like a paint. But you could tell they painted and I don't know if I could get that. Looks like there was starting to be a little bit of bubbling of surface rust. Can you see that in the light there? Yeah. All right, here it's just kind of starting to bubble. And they painted right over it. It's like something my grandma would do, like with nail polish on her E30 3 Series she had 30, 40 years ago. Go out there with nail polish and touch up the car every couple of months. But this is strange. And I don't know what this is. It's like a sound editing material. I mean, it's not. Look, it's not rusted under there. Does anybody know if this is factory? I've never seen it. It it looks like it's just a bunch of pieces cut and stuck on here. It's really strange. It Underneath the front, engine bay, got the headers. Obviously after market. Oil pan looks a little, little leaky. Might just be the gasket. That's super crusty. The little pad stand the exhaust is a little like I said, there's a lot of surface rust on this car, being from Santa Cruz, California, which is a beach city right on the water, specifically Aptos, where I actually spent all my summers and Christmases, ironically, another sign that I had to buy this car, because that's where this car spent most of its life. Motor mounts are looking a little, little crusty, but I don't know, they don't seem to be clunking or making any noises. Ah, uh, yeah, see a little bit of surface rust along this ledge here where the steering rod ends are looking a little old. Looks like one of the boots is blown out there on the steering rack. Play bar is just looking a little old and dirty. Control arms and everything else, like I said, a little old, a little dirty. There might be a, a split boot somewhere that's flinging all this stuff, but... Chassis rails look really good. The pinch welds are a little smushed, not terrible. Like this one is still really good shape on the black car. It's a little smashed. Looks like got a Subi oil filter up there. Maybe, it looks blue, looks like it. Probably have to do a full timing job on this car, just like the other one, because we don't know when it's been done. And that sums it up. That is the new project. Not quite sure where to take this one. So the black 
Preza RS that I have. That thing's, you know, got a built engine in it, six speed transmission, it's got tons of stuff, tons of modifications into it. It'll probably, it'll never be stock again. But this one, it's close. It's so close to being a minty fresh USDM Subaru Impreza 2.5 RS from the era when I was in high school and I used to drive to the dealerships and just look at these cars. But for 19,000, I think they were 20,000. I just couldn't justify it. And I didn't have the kind of money back then. Anyways, so what do you think I should do? Should we restore it, put it back to its original state, USDM? Should we go all JDM? Do we just swap it? Do we STI swap it? Do we do a, some kind of JDM STI swap? USDM STI? What do you guys think? Let me know down below. I appreciate your feedback. I'm really excited for this one. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new, please consider subscribing. Also hit the thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel grow. And I'll see you next time.